And there mm. you go. We, uh, you, uh, you saw them there. We've now got Clemence, who is uh, Fleur Delacour. We've got uh, Robert, who is uh, Cedric Diggory. And, of course, we've got Stan Islam, or Stan, he likes. And, uh, and he's Victor Crumb. Welcome to, uh, to, to all three. You said, apparently, you've got a problem with your microphone, Robert, I think. Have we got a stick mic coming in? No? It's just oh, on its honestly. way. Okay, so just for the moment, shout very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Where, your, you, your lives, you know, from, from acting, or well, we've come to, to Stan in a moment, who just sort of happened out of nowhere, but, but suddenly taken over by Harry Potter, this great wave of Harry Potter. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's the biggest film you could actually do. Ends up being it. <laughs> <laughs> Ends up being it. So, so no, it's great. And it's just great to, to, to be around... Isn't there, um, is there a set. worry, though, when you when you get involved with something like that, something that's a big, ongoing, rolling machine, you know, that you that it's going to be like, th well, first day at school, first day at Hogwarts, you know, everyone's going to know everybody apart from you guys. Um, we actually start a bit earlier than, than the proper um, shoot, so we, we met everyone before we start shooting, mm. and we were very, you know, friendly, welcomed, and, and it... It felt okay. Like yeah. It must be quite daunting, though, Stan, isn't it? This is, like Philip said, this well-oiled machine, yeah, it, it all runs smoothly, and, and here you are, the new boys and girls at school. And, and you hadn't had a huge amount of acting experience, had you? Um, no, not really. That was my first professional acting experience. So um, it was a new world to me. And um, as Clement said, we were really warmly welcomed right from the beginning. We, we introduced each other. We had a few sessions when we played games, did a bit of acting together to, to get introduced to the world. So, um, well, you, the, the, for you, it, it sounds, certainly on paper, it looks as if it's one of those sort of ridiculous dreams come true <laughs> moments where you're at school, got no interest in acting, not really even taking acting classes, and you, you just discovered. Um, yes. And that's, that's what happened. That's how it happened, yeah. So was there a moment where you thought, you know, I, no, I, actually I've got my idea set on another career, I don't want to do this. <laughs> um, not really, I've actually enjoyed it a lot, mm. and um, I would consider it as a career now. You are thinking about that. Um, what were you going to do? Um, well, I was studying business-oriented subjects, so um, I was... Oh, this is much more interesting. ...going into business, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Robert, what were, you know, we, we, I was reading, you said you, you did find it quite daunting, thinking, my God, it's Harry Potter, and, and also all the, the kind of stunts and things you have to do, it's all quite physical, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did a lot of physical stuff. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, how, how far am I supposed to be? No, away from what you're doing is perfect. <laughs> Just don't break into song. Yeah, I um, I did. I had to do some training at the beginning because I, I was supposed to be like the sporty kid in school, and uh, and and Daniel was about twice the size of me, his his, his chest and stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know how that happened, but um, uh, yeah. So I had to do a lot of sort of physical training and stuff, but uh. I, I didn't do it. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's <laughs> you didn't do it. Well, no, I had I had a personal trainer at the beginning, and about everyone was telling me to do it. But um, I did it for about two weeks, and then I, I, I put my shoulder out. <laughs> when you're doing a lot of the special effects, are, are you doing those in fantastic sets, or is it often against a kind of blue background, or, and you're you're having to imagine all these things and dragons and? Um, a lot of it, it's sort of half and half. Like it's kind of. Uh, Stuart Craig, who's the art director, who should have won an Oscar. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. He uh, he um, makes the most incredible sets, and, and it's it, it's not even in the frame of the film. It, it goes outside the frame, and uh, stuff like the maze was. Uh, there are 30 foot high hydraulic maze walls, as well as there being CGI stuff as well. So that's why it looks. So when you say it goes outside the frame, what 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 do you mean? It's it's bigger than we see. Well, yeah, like the the set, they, they'll, you'll need a certain amount of set for the shot, and he'll just make it uh, completely expansive, like way outside what's needed. What's expensive? Just just for yeah. I don't know, for the sake of the actors and for the sake of just himself. I think he just enjoys it. So what uh, what was your what was your favorite uh, favorite scene that you were doing? Favorite scene to yeah. shoot? Well, I guess all the underwater um, sequence, the first task of the tournament, uh, second task actually, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was, was was amazing because we we had to train for like a month to learn how to dive, to scuba dive and stuff. And how yeah. long did they actually keep you underwater? You hear a lot of people, whenever they've done all underwater things, we think, oh, well, they'll have only been down there for a few seconds. And then you find, actually, it's quite a long no, time. No, God, we weren't, we weren't allowed to stay down there for more than four hours a day, because then it just damaged your ears or something. But um, 
quite a long time. I think we spent a month doing four mm. four hours a day. Well, I, I read somewhere um, that, uh, that that Daniel Radcliffe himself had done something ludicrous, like sort of forty hours underwater. Yeah. Yeah, like I, think about three. <laughs> I think he had three ear infections throughout the time he was shooting, so he was just under there the whole time. I mean, you're making that sound like it's, oh yeah, we spent time four hours a day underwater. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing experience. Have it you ever, is, have you ever done great. scuba diving no, before? No, um, I've never done any, I don't know if you guys have done no, 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 no. But you're surrounded by the best um, stunt guys you could ever mm. get, <laughs> yes. so it makes everything seem very easy. Um, and sort of future future films. I mean, this is uh, it, it's a difficult one, really, because you you know you don't know whether you're going to be featured in the next film because we the the, the uh, this particular movie was from the book that was so long. We thought they were going to make two films out of this mm. one. So obviously, lots of things have got to be trimmed down. Your character does feature in future books quite a bit. In so the sixth one, right? yeah. So uh, we're having relationships with um, sort of the Weasley mm. chap. So, um, <laughs> so what, which one is it? Is it George or was it Purse? Who did you? Who, Bill. Is I it think. Bill? Bill Weasley. <laughs> so does that mean that you will be in future films? You I don't know. know. We, we don't know yet. They're shooting the fifth one. I'm definitely not going to be in the, in the fifth yeah. one. And you know, we'll see. What Would you like happens. to be in the sixth one? I'll come back with lots of like pleasure that. and yeah, I know. It's difficult great. for you, I suppose, to come back <laughs> after you know. I'm not going to spoil it if anyone's seen the end. Of, hasn't seen the end of the film. It's difficult for you to come back. Yeah, unlikely. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, and you will be taking up and continue with your acting career, will you? Oh, um, I hope so. Yes. Yeah. Good. Well, listen, Amazing that's... first job. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming today. There it is. It's the uh, the DVD. It is out on Monday. It's a fabulous film and well worth watching. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Sorry about your mic.